So our second video in this series of how to use Adobe Premiere is how to upload footage to your computer. So we've seen this uh, initial screen before that comes up when uh, to welcome you and we are going to, instead of going for a new project, we're going to pick a project that we did recently which was the test one. That will load up everything I've got so far but actually I haven't got much there because I want to show you how to put it into the project. There are two ways that we can get video or um, music or even photos into this project. Uh, the one is to import them. Uh, that means that you've already got this footage on your computer. In other words, the video is on your computer or the music song is on your computer or the photos are on your computer. What we do here is File, Import. Control i is the shortcut key for that and it's quite a good one to get to know because you have to do quite a lot of importing. So you look in the places where you've kept all your original video. So I'm going to bring in this sample video here. And I just open it and it imports the file to me uh, to my bin just here. So the next thing we're going to do is import some music. Uh, this is my music file. So all I'm going to do is take a, or oh, let's take this song here at random. You can see they have to be MP3s in order to work with Premiere, but the little symbol here gives us uh, the idea that this is a, so a song, or a sound file at least, and this little symbol gives us the idea that this is a video file. Now we can also use pictures, so let's do Control i for import again, and finally go into uh, my pictures, and we will get a little photo of my daughter because she's kind of cute. So all of those import material into the bins there. But actually, what you're more likely to want to do is to take material directly off a camera. So we go over here to File, Capture, or F5 if you prefer. This is my capture window, which appears and tells me that I've got control now over the camera. So I don't need to touch the camera with these controls down here. I can press play, I can forward it, I can rewind it, and basically I know what's going on on the camera. So what I need to do is get the footage to the right place, preferably a couple of seconds before because we can always trim it once it's in. So let's say I was going to start from here. I would take the footage back a little bit just a couple of seconds and then I press this red button down here to record. Now it's got to be playing and recording at the same time. If you have a look up here you will be able to see that this says it's capturing and it's telling me how long it's capturing. When I finished it I press stop down here and this little dialog screen will come up saying what do you want to call this? So I'm going to say this is my test footage If you are a professional, then you would fill in this description because it gives you a better idea of what you've recorded. You would fill in the scene and the shot or the take, which again would be in your storyboard. And you might make some log notes down here which just say the lighting was a bit poor, the sound wasn't so good, or perfect take. You OK that. And you will see that in my uh, bin up here, we have the test footage imported. And basically, you carry on doing that until you're finished. Be sure to check that your settings are correct. They should be if you've set the project up correctly. For the capture location, it should be in your Year 8 media area in your file. Okay. For your audio, that should be the same as the project. And that basically is how to import footage or capture footage into your project tape.